Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be opening up this uh, gas mask in a can. Alright, so I got this in the mail. I ordered it off eBay. Um, this is a, as it says, mask protective field M9A1, face piece size small, position of canister stem left. So the M9A1 gas mask was produced originally uh, up to the Vietnam War, uh, since World War II. After the Vietnam War started, it was given a lot to police officers and the National Guard. So you may see these um, at like uh, protests and things like that from Vietnam. But for the military's sake, they were discontinued. If we're lucky, the gas mask should have a stamp inside that'll say the year it was manufactured. It's got... Here, I'll move the... Show you the sides in the back here. So, to open container, remove key from container, attached key to tab and turn. So if you look on the top here, there's a key that would lift up and then it would attach to this tab here and open like a can of sardines. So I don't want to do that if I can help it. So I'm going to use a little P38 little can opener to hopefully get it out from the bottom. I've never used one of these before but, uh, you know, hopefully I can figure it out. Alright, so immediately, there's a weird smell coming out of it. Don't know quite how to describe it. All right, we're back. Uh, you can tell that uh, this is this little can opener I was using is a cheap reproduction because the little nozzle right on the end kind of bent, made it so it was unusable. But luckily, a pair of tin snips made this much quicker. So now I can still use the case for display, but uh, I got into it. It was a, a lot heavier gauge steel than I thought it would be. Or it's not steel. Heavier gauge metal. Pretty sharp now. But yeah, I'm excited to take a look at this. So let's take it out. Set this off to the side. Actually, before I do, I wanted to show you how good condition the inside of this was. Not really any little bit of rust coming from the bottom, but looks great. It's in great condition. So now let's uh, take a look. Okay, that's. I'm gonna try to save that if I can. Let me see. Give me just a second. That's pretty cool. I'd like to save as much as I can when I can. Even if it's just some old string. You see some of the paper, some of that green fabric. Hmm. That looks like it's still pretty well adhered on, so. Tin snips back to the rescue. And cut around it. Just because it's a cool label. I want to keep that. It smells like chemicals, like a factory. Okay, set the paper off to the side so I can save that for later. Wow, this is an amazing condition. U.S. Field Protective Mask M9A1. 
Uh, size small on the left side. Stem on the left. It's in really good condition for potentially how old it is. Normally when you see these things, they're grayed with age, the paint is coming off, or, you know, it's blurring, or stuff like that. Let's see, all the buckles, everything are metal. Look at that. And they snap pretty good. It's very, like, plasticky, a little leathery smelling and it's heavy it's pretty heavy so let's let's see what i can do got some paper in there it's like really packed in i don't want to tear anything just in case it's brittled up with age or anything there we go okay first off something in this paper, so I'm glad I double-checked. It's a pocket for an extra filter. Alright, that's a nice little bag. Alright, so here we go. Here's the gas mask. It's all, it's all tied up and there is a filter. Which is great. I'm gonna open this up too. I'm pretty sure I pretty sure this is defogger. You see that anti dim cloth for gas masks. Wet the fingertips and moisten the inner surface of the eyepieces. Uh, rub vigorously with the cloth until the surface is clean and dry. When to use anti dim cloth. The cloth is to be applied to the eyepieces after each time that the mask has been worn. If the cloth becomes wet, allow it to dry without squeezing. Alright, I guess this is the part. At least I want to see. So these are a little brittle as they get with age. But nothing too... not as bad as I thought it would be. Let me see if I can't untie this. Yeah. Okay, you got some stamping. Two six two. I assume you pop that open, pop this off when you want to start using it. Also says right there, stamped uh, US Mark II, I'm guessing? Not sure. I'll set this off to the side for now. So there's like a... this... hard leather... Oh, no, it's almost like a... like a cardboard. Holding it all... holding its shape together. And I think I see the marker. So hopefully, you know, hopefully it's old. I like old stuff. All right, so we have a winner. Let me see if I can zoom in. I'll put a picture here if it's not clear, but that's a Firestone logo. Right above it, there's a 53. So this is a 1953 M9A1 gas mask. First time it's been out of the box since the factory. I say that's pretty darn cool. Let's see if you, there's also one there. It says US on the forehead. I'm gonna keep this so I can maybe display it out a little bit. All right, here we go. Get the straps here. Pretty much the same design you get in a lot of a lot of things. You can just pull that tight. Big problem is because these are old, these can be brittle, so pulling these would be gentle if you do it at all, which I'm not really going to mess around with it. I would hate for this to tear off since it is feeling a little brittle. Gas or the uh, canister screws in on this side. And there's that, that symbol. 
I think this is the outflow valve. One way exhalation valve. That's what I would guess without, you know, being a specialist in this. But the eye cups, beautiful. And let me put the straps on the other side so you can see the inside. So on the inside, it has this inner mouthpiece here. No, it covers the nose and mouth. This looks like it filters air around, so hopefully that, that'll stop the condensation. So the lenses don't get fogged up. Almost like a spike down here. It's soft, though. Real cool part is throwing the canister on the mask. Pretty stiff on the threads. But if you take a look there. All right, and there you have it. All right, so here are the contents of this gas mask in a can. I, if you uh, can get access to one, I suggest it. They're really cool, uh, but don't open them. You know, just keep them in there probably. Show them off for display. Now you know everything that's in there. Definitely don't wear these old masks. Some of these filters have asbestos in them. They're definitely not going to work as anything good as modern masks, but they're really cool to have, especially with the the bag, the can, it comes with the whole the whole deal. So thanks for watching. If you want more stuff like this, I would love a uh, comment, uh, subscribe, just watching them. And yeah, see you next time. Thank you.